as some of you may know or may not know, um, the Native Americans were the first preyed upon slaves in the USA. Um, and when they were being preyed upon, um, the peak of that slave trade occurred between 1670 and 1717. Um, it declined steeply after that, uh, but lasted throughout the entire 18th century. Um, but it uh, declined uh, more so steeply after 1730 uh, specifically. Uh, let's talk about that slave trade. Anyway, um, the state of South Carolina was most notorious, was most notorious for enslaving Native American peoples. And the first and foremost people that they targeted and um, pretty much um, caused to suffer severely from the slave trade. And uh, archaeologists, uh, you know, have, you know, uh, elaborated on and also like, uh, you know, in uh, several articles I've read and also um, a really good book I'm going to recommend later concerning this trade that the early Florida peoples suffered the most um, from this trade. And those people were the Appalachian, the Timucua, the Calusa, the Tecesta, the Jayaga, uh, the Miami, and the Guale, who were in northeastern Florida, but also uh, southeastern Georgia. Um, these people, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, um, by the time the Seminoles um, got down to Florida, Florida was pretty much swept clean, I mean, of these people. That's how badly they suffered from um, the slave trade. Well, anyway, and speaking of the Seminoles, um, the, the Seminoles um, actually banned, were a, a group of Creeks, uh, Creeks, Muscogee peoples, um, and a few other smaller uh, remnant tribes um, that banded together with um, some runaway Afro-Americans um, to flee Native American slave raids. And it was kind of like, uh, you know, ironic or contradictory, I would say, contradictory, um, the Creeks were um, some of the principal people that were actually selling <laughs> some of the early Florida people um, to the English <laughs> in South Carolina. Well, anyway, um, apart from South Carolina um, being notorious for the Native American uh, slave trade, um, you know, Virginia had a reputation and so did Louisiana. Um, these states were also involved in that trade. Well, anyway, um, I spoke about how the Appalachian, the Timucua, uh, the Calusa Tequesta, and the Miami uh, and the Guale suffered severely from this trade. Um, but I want to, before I continue on the other uh, Native American ethnic groups that suffered from the trade, um, I want to uh, stop right there and, uh, you know, mention something concerning the early Florida peoples. Um, according to archaeologists, um, the bulk of the early Florida peoples were uh, immigrants from the Caribbean and South America. Um, the Timucua um, from the Caribbean, uh, the Calusa, and the other uh, southerly uh, groups that lived in Southwest Florida and Southeast Florida. Um, archaeologists that they were believed that they were uh, migrants from South America, and they believe this due to the uh, you know linguistic studies and also like you know, cultural studies, um, looking at the, the way these people lived, um, and, you know, they're pretty much, uh, you know, very much so convinced that these people came from the Caribbean and South America. Um, the Appalachian were believed to be a uh, group of Siouan peoples with a Muscogan um, elite class. And um, the Creeks are Muscogan, one of the largest uh, you know, Native American tribes in the Southeast. And I'm gonna say something about the Creeks, which is pretty interesting um, later. Um, but anyway, yeah. So this is quite interesting because um, I've heard from a cousin of mine, she mentioned that on one of Henry Louis Gates, um, you know, Finding Your Roots uh, re re videos, the, t the TV series on Finding Your Roots, that uh, he brings up the fact that like when Native American DNA is found, in um, Afro American, Afro Americans, by surprise, it's often like uh, Native American DNA that's from Central America, the Caribbean, and South America. And if, in fact, you know, uh, the early Florida peoples were most targeted by the Native American slave trade, um, it would be no surprise that this DNA shows up as like uh, 
South American or from the Caribbean and, and on also Central American to some extent too, uh, extent too, um, because like uh, peoples from the Caribbean, Native American peoples from the Caribbean and the South America are closely related to Native American peoples of Central America. But also I'm gonna, um, you know, uh, bring up something concerning Central America. What, uh, in reference to Central America, I also read um, in quite interesting article that the Guale, the Guale were a compilation of Maya, Sibone, and the Sibone are from the Bahamas and um, the Calusa peoples. And the Calusa peoples were originally from South America um, that lived in southwestern Florida. So um, that Mayan DNA could also be an explanation why, why Central American DNA shows up in Afro-Americans. And um, I'm going to say something more about that Mayan DNA later concerning some other uh, Native American ethnic groups. Um, because guess what? Um, my Native American DNA uh, showed up as Mayan um, on a uh, website that I uploaded it on, um, which specializes in analyzing East Asian and Native American DNA. Uh, well, anyway, uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Anyway. Um, as, as I mentioned before, the Apalachi, the um, Timucua, the Guale, the Tequesta, um, the Calusa, the Miami, the Jaga, all um, suffered severely from this Native American slave trade. And um, the proof in it also is the fact that like a lot of Florida Native American uh, pottery has been found on South Carolina coastal plantations, which is quite interesting. Anyway, um, other Native American groups that suffered from the slave trade were the Tayensa, the Tunica, the Homa, um, the Bayagula, the uh, Biloxi. Now, these are peoples um, that existed in the lower Mississippi uh, Valley area uh, between Mississippi and Louisiana. Also, the Choctaw and even, uh, you know, peoples around the Great, La Great Lakes region, which is quite interesting to me. The Kaskaskia, the Miami, um, the Kickapoo. Uh, the Peoria, these are mis Midwest people. Um, anyway, yeah, were, uh, you know, uh, uh, victims of this trade also. <laughs> Had a brain fart moment. <laughs> anyway, were vi victims of this trade also. And what's quite interesting, um, the entire, the entire, like, eastern part of the United States, the Indi uh, Native American ethnic groups um, in the eastern part of the United States were not, like, I guess you would say um, excluded in any bit whatsoever. Um, there was, you know, scholars are still doing research um, research on this topic. Uh, they've estimated, um, you know, the tens of thousands, and uh, po tens of thousands, uh, possibly and more of Native American ethnic groups that were possibly victims that were actually not possibly, excuse me, um, that were victims of this trade. Um, and also those that were possibly victims of this trade. That's what I meant to say. Um, yeah. Anyway, they've come up come up with some figures and numbers um, so far. Well, anyway, um, apart from the ethnic groups I mentioned beforehand, the Poetan um, were uh, victims of the trade. The Tuscarora, uh, the Huron, Erie, the Susquehannock. And what's interesting about the Huron, the Erie, and the Susquehannock. The Iroquois, the Iroquois, and you know, as early as 1610, were being armed with guns uh, by the Dutch, and the Iroquois were selling the Huron, Erie, uh, the Susquehanna, and also the Shawnee as war captives, as war captives, um, war captives, and ultimately slaves. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. Yeah, that's what's quite interesting. And when you begin to read about the Native American slave trade, a great book to check out is um, The Indian Slave Trade. It's the rise of the English Empire in the American South, 1670 to 1717 um, by Alan Galley. Uh, it's awesome. It's very detailed, very thorough. Yes, it's amazing, an amazing book. Um, it's, it's quite popular. And most of these people weren't even actually like, I mean, Afro-American, Afro-American in the true essence, because many of these people were mixed breeds, like um, from um, mulatto families. Mm. I'm talking for the natives. Yeah. I like when, when, it, when it comes to uh, talking about African Americans, I have no education with that. Period. Uh -huh. I don't. I, I, I don't. I'm not even connecting to that no more, because that's a system. Uh -huh. That's like connecting. Say, hey, he's a bad guy. You don't hang with him. Oh, hey, uh -huh. let me find out for myself. Uh -huh. I'm not African American at all.
My, hmm. my folks is not from Africa. And a lot of people in this room folks ain't from Africa. Might be a couple, but people just don't understand. I asked my grandma, like, yo, grandma, what's your background? She's like, red foot and um, black tail Indian. What? Yeah, my mother and my father, yeah, we were 100% Indians. Ask my other grandma, we got Cherokee in us and European and Italian, a little Dominican. Huh. It's crazy. I'm like, what the fuck? That's why I'm over Africa. Y'all, y'all look at me funny. Like, nigga, I'm African. Like, I've, I, you're not, though. Like, you're, you're, you're not. 80% of slaves was already here. It was natives. It's crazy. Hey, D, where you get that number from? Right. Shit, I just checked the books. Which book? Yeah. My, I got a whole laptop full of this shit. Yeah? Yeah, just for me reading. It's not a solid book like, hey, uh-huh. just only a thousand slaves came here. And, nah, nigga, uh-huh. you got to read. You have to literally read. Like, I'm so deep into it, I don't think about a slave ship. I think about what, what was a slave ship called? Jesus. What the fuck was a slave ship called that Christopher Columbus was on? Who funded that slave ship? Who paid for that boat? Uh-huh. Like what was these folks' race? Like what, what was their background? Yeah, Mike, so you just want to come? Like you want to get into? So, Michael, that's interesting. So, uh, why? Th- I'm just. It's like a why. It's not like I'm chastising. Yeah. It's like why? No, that's interesting because when it comes, I, you're addressing identity, right? So, so you're I, familiar with that boat, right? I'm. Uh, I'm not familiar with the boat exactly that you're referencing, but I am the slave boat, the first slave boat. Oh that yeah, came the slave boat. Yeah, for right, sure. So who for paid sure. for the slave boat? Um, that was from the the Europeans in terms of what, what, the, what the was the ethnicity? What was the ethnicity? Uh, there was Germans. There was no. Individuals what was their ethnicity that paid for that boat? That that <laughs> that built that boat and that voiced that boat. And who, who are the people directions? who built the boat or who paid for the boat to be built? It's in the books. It's just yeah. it's in the books. There's, I'm not going to say shit because got we got to specify which boat. Yeah, and from the which boat part of the country. Columbus was on. The boat that y'all celebrated well, let's look Columbus it up. Day. Wasn't that the Jesus, it it's called Jesus, Jesus of Lubeck. For, yeah, and. Who, who, the Spain, the Spanish? King Henry. But we gonna get to it. I don't. Okay. We gonna get to it like that. Like, trust me, it's deep. It's okay. deep, bro. But it's the question deep. I have for you in regards to identity, then, um, some uh, blacks don't want to be called African Americans. Uh, some refer to call as black. So, with you saying you're not African American, you're more the indigenous. Your grandmother and your grandparents from the Native American tribes. Do you address yourself as Native American? Do you address yourself as black? Do you address I'm, yourself I'm as African American? I'm other. So you're other. I'm un- I'm uneducated. I'm uneducated. So for me to sit here like a college professor or a professor, I'm wrong. I'm uneducated. I'm confused. You know what I'm saying? But I'm damn sure not black. You're not going to call me black. My, my, own, my grandmother's not Crayola. Huh. So no, then. No, I'm connected to a tribe. I'm from a tribe, not a country. Mm-hmm. It's a hmm. big difference. What? Different laws, different everything. Like, big difference. 